Cub Master Ben coming at you on the 29th of December. New Year's Eve is just around the corner. Boo, 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 boo. All right, anyway, so hey guys, um, I was having trouble sleeping last night, and I found out a really interesting fact that I thought you should know about, and I thought I'd give you a little history to go with it. So, last evening, I was having trouble sleeping, like I said, and I found out that yesterday is actually, the 28th of December, is actually the day that the nation uh, formally started recognizing the Pledge of Allegiance becoming part of the U.S. flag code, or the code that dictates how we should treat and respect the flag of America, right? So the, the 50 stars, the blue field, the 13 uh, red and white stripes, right? So that how we take care of it, how it's displayed, that kind of thing. It is actually part of that code. Uh, so this was titled the Pledge of Allegiance Day. It's a recognition day. It's not a holiday. It's just something that says, hey, this is important for our country, for our nation. This is something that happened on the 28th of December. And so you should know about it because you should be saying the Pledge of Allegiance at every scouting event, whether it's a DIN meeting, a troop meeting, a PAC meeting, anytime that flag is in the room or you do a flag ceremony, you should be saluting or putting your hand over your heart if you're not in uniform and saluting the flag, right? And saying the Pledge of Allegiance, okay? So when was the Pledge of Allegiance first found out about? So the 8th of September in 1892, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance was anonymously published in what was called Youth Companion Magazine at the time, okay? So it was a published anonymously, which means no one knew who wrote it. No one know anything about it except for the people who published it. And obviously the person who wrote it, right? So in 1945, a gentleman by the name of Francis Bellamy actually received official credit as being the guy who wrote the original draft of the Pledge of Allegiance, right? So um, in 1923 and 1924 uh, is the first time that the National Flag Conference uh, started using the Pledge of Allegiance in legislation. So it started being put in legal verbiage and it started being put um, in the National Flag Conference and being used regularly, right? Uh, and in 1954, uh, a congressional mandate actually added the words under God to the pledge um, due to a anti-communist movement that was sweeping the nation because we were involved in the Cold War. So for my younger scouts and my younger uh, people who may not know what the Cold War is, I would encourage you to go talk to mom and dad. They may know, talk to grandparents, right? Or get into a history book, find out a little bit about it, okay? So what is so crazy about this? Well, guys, that was yesterday, but we're getting ready to start a new year. And so I thought I'd give you a little fun history fact to finish out 2020. Um, and then in 2021, we got some great content coming your way, guys. So remember, DIN leaders, Cub Masters, Scout Masters, uh, Patrol Leaders, anyone that is in a leadership position, every time you have a meeting, you should be saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, remember, for my Scouts, two fingers for Cubs, three fingers for my Boys and Girl Scouts, right? In uniform, Class A's or Class B's. And then for my scouts not in uniform, my parents, my siblings, remember when you say the Pledge of Allegiance, stand up straight, place your right hand over your heart, and say it loud, and say it proud. That I So hey guys, this is Cub Master Ben coming at you with another fun flag history fact. I'll talk to you guys in 2021. Cub Master Ben, out.